So we've got full moon coming up. We're reading full moon energy. Let's see what the moon oracle has to say. Full moon message for you guys, because I don't think I'll be recording tomorrow. Your commitment is being tested. No shit. When is it not? When is it not? Let's see. A personal issue reaches a resolution. So whatever the fuck you're going through at the moment, I feel like it's, it's gonna get there, okay? So stop fucking worried. You and your loved ones are safe in all of this. So stop fucking overthinking. Everything's going to be how it's supposed to be. It's time for you to start looking at the bigger picture. You're too narrow-minded. You're too focused on possibly the wrong kind of thing here. You know, look at the bigger picture. Step out of your fucking comfort zone. There's more to life than this fucking situation. Um, I feel there's going to be some sort of arguments coming up as well. Welcome to full moon energy. Be bold and make the first move. So I'm getting that make the first move is tell someone where to fucking stick it once and for all. Because, yeah, it, it's giving off that kind of energy. Let's see what the tarot has to say. What can you expect of this full moon? Message for the collective for the full moon. Patience, okay? Patience. We've got the full moon. We also have pre-shadow Mercury in retrograde kind of energy. Do you know what I mean? Chaotic is probably the best, the best way to put it. So... A lot of patience is going to be required during this, this time period. A lot of patience. Focus on your money. Full moon in Capricorn is Capricorn. Do you know what I mean? Focus on your stability. Focus on your finances. Maybe do some sort of investment. Um, start that project that you were wanting to start off with. Just get all of that stuff done. But I do feel there's going to be some sort of heartbreak here with this King of Wands. There's some bullshit here. There is going to be some, some, some kind of bullshit here. But you're just going to fucking take it. So even though there's going to be some arguments and some bullshit here with this King of Wands, just keep moving forward. Do not allow yourself to be stuck. Keep pushing forward, okay? Because these energies are crazy. These energies are crazy. And this could really keep you in this devil toxic energy. Do not be attached. Let go of the shit that doesn't belong to you anymore. Do not hold on. Full moons are all about releasing. Release that King of Wands. Don't allow him to be in your head. Is this like a friendship kind of situation that's going here? Or is there somebody else around? You need to release this fucking BS, the moon. They are hiding someone that they're talking to. Not necessarily hiding with the moon energy. I feel you already kind of know about it. You just don't know the whole story. Does that make sense? The full moon will obviously make it all clear to you. So be patient. Release. And get out of there. Get the fuck out of there. They're not serving anything here for you. They're really not. You've been left out in the cold, not receiving anything. It's just a hookup kind of thing. Yeah, you get together, but that's not that's not a relationship. It's a little celebration. That's a little, you know. And look, he keeps coming in. Of course, he's gonna keep coming in. Why the fuck wouldn't he keep coming in? Why the fuck wouldn't he come in? So just make sure that with the death card, every time it comes in, go the other way. End it. End it once and for all because <clears throat> he's a sneaky motherfucker. And this could be your energy too. You're running away from something that you should. No, it's not. It's him. Running away from the relationship. Too many fucking blocks here. The tower. Listen, bitch. Get the fuck out of that. Get the fuck out of that. I keep saying that, but I feel I feel it's gonna happen this full moon. So good luck with that. 